In 1947, a young Bedouin shepherd boy was tending his flock of sheep at Qumran on the banks of the Dead Sea. After hearing one of its idly thrown rocks strike a ceramic pot inside a nearby empty cave, the boy found within the broken pot pages of ancient texts. A total of 850 sacred texts were eventually discovered, all around 2,000 years old. These scriptures, now known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, contained many details about an ancient spiritual group called the Essenes. Other teachings of the Essenes have been unearthed from the secret archives of the Vatican. The Essenes were often found in communities where meditation or prayer was an important part of daily life that was dedicated to God. The faithful carried with them a beautiful light, the light of God, and this light was to be shared with other inhabitants of the earth. With respect for all forms of life, the Essenes diet was purely vegetarian. Today we present the ancient wisdom of the Essenes with an excerpt from the Essene Gospel of Peace. The Sevenfold Vow I want to and will do my best to live like the tree of life, planted by the great masters of our brotherhood, with my heavenly Father, who planted the eternal garden of the universe and gave me my spirit, with my earthly mother, who planted the great garden of the earth and gave me my body, with my brothers, who are working in the garden of our brotherhood. I want to and will do my best to hold every morning my communions with the angels of the earthly mother and every evening with the angels of the heavenly father as established by the great masters of our brotherhood. I want to and will do my best to follow the path of the sevenfold peace. I want to and will do my best to perfect my body which acts, my body which feels and my body which thinks, according to the teachings of the great masters of our brotherhood. I will always and everywhere obey with reverence my master, who gives me the light of the great masters of all times. I will submit to my master, and accept his decision or complaints I may have on whatever differences against any of my brothers working in the garden of the brotherhood. I will never claim as my own my own, the knowledge received from my master, and I will always give credit to him for all this knowledge. I will never use the knowledge and power I have gained through initiation from my master for material or selfish purposes. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly father, to the earthly mother, and to the great masters, reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching reverence to the brotherhood of the elect. The Essene Worship Prologue When God saw that his people would perish because they did not see the light of life, he chose the best of Israel so that they may make the light of life to shine before the sons of men. And those chosen were called the scenes, because they taught the ignorant and healed the sick, and they gathered on the eve of every seventh day to rejoice with the angels. The Angel of Sun Up, rise up! and roll along, thou immortal, shining, swift-steeded angel of sun. Above the mountains, produce light for the world. Angel of sun, thou art the fountain of light, thou dost pierce the darkness. Open thou the gate of the horizon. The angel of sun doth dwell far above the earth, 
yet do her rays fill our days with life and warmth. The chariot of the morning doth bring the light of the rising sun, and maketh glad the hearts of men. The angel of sun doth illumine our path with rays of splendor. Angel of sun, dart forth thy rays upon me. Let them touch me, let them penetrate me. I give myself to thee and thy embrace, blessed with the fire of life. A molten flood of holy joy flows toward me from thee. Onward to thee, angel of sun, as no man can look upon the sun with naked eyes, so no man can see God face to face, lest he be consumed by the flames which guard the tree of life. Study then the holy law, for the face of the sun and the face of God can be seen only by the one who hath within him the revelation of the law. Thinkest thou that death is an end? Thy thoughts are foolish as those of a child, who seeks dark sky and falling rain, and cries that there is no sun. Wouldst thou grow strong in the law? Be then as the sun at noonday, which shineth with light and warmth on all men, and giveth freely and abundantly of her golden glory. Then shall the fountain of light flow back to thee, as the sun is never without light, for it floweth freely, without restraint. And when the sun riseth, then the earth made by the Creator becometh clean. The running waters become pure, the waters of the wells become pure, the waters of the sea become pure, the standing waters become pure, all the holy creatures become pure. It is through brightness and glory that man is born who listens well to the holy words of the law, whom wisdom holds dear. Through their brightness and glory doth the sun go his way. Through their brightness and glory doth the moon go her way. Through their brightness and glory do the stars go their way unto the immortal, shining, swift-steeded sun. When the light of the sun waxeth brighter, when the brightness of the sun waxeth warmer, then do the heavenly forces arise. They pour their glory upon the earth, made by the Heavenly Father, for the increase of the children of light, for the increase of the immortal, shining, swift-steeded sun. I will sacrifice unto that friendship, the best of all friendships, that reign between the angel of sun and the sons of the earthly mother. I bless the glory and light, the strength and the vigor, of the immortal, shining, swift-steeded angel of sun. The Angel of Water From the heavenly sea, the waters run and flow forward, from the never-failing springs, to the dry and barren desert, have the brothers brought the Angel of Water that she might bring forth a garden and a green place, tree-filled and fragrant with flowers. Cast thyself into the unfolding arms of the angel of water, for she shall cast out from thee all that is unclean and evil. Let my love flow toward thee, Heavenly Father, as the river flows to the sea, and let thy love flow to me, Heavenly Father as the gentle rain doth kiss the earth. As a river through the forest is the holy law, all creatures depend on it, and it denieth nothing to any being. The law is to the world of men what a great river is to streams and brooks, as rivers of water in a dry place are the brothers who bringeth the holy law to the world of men. Heavenly Father, from thy heavenly sea flow all the waters that spread over all the seven kingdoms. This heavenly sea of thine alone 
goeth on bringing waters, both in summer and winter and in all seasons. Thy heavenly sea floweth down unrestrained, unto the big seeded cornfields, unto the small seeded pasture fields, and unto the whole of the earthly world. A thousand pure springs run toward the pastures, that give food to the children of light. We worship all the holy waters, which do quench the thirst of the earth, all the holy waters that the Creator hath made, and all the plants which the Creator hath made, all of which are holy. We do worship the water of life, and all waters upon the earth, whether standing or running, or waters of the well, or spring waters which perennially flow, or the blessed drippings of the rains. Let the sea roar, and all the waters, the world, and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, the God of glory thundereth. Heavenly Father, and Thou, angel of water, we are thankful to Thee, and we bless Thy name. A flood of love welleth up, from the hidden places beneath the earth. The brotherhood is blessed forever, in the holy water of life. The Angel of Air We worship the holy breath, which is placed higher than all the other things created, and we worship the most true wisdom. In the midst of the fresh air of the forest and fields, there shalt thou find the Angel of Air. Patiently she waits for thee, to quit the dank and crowded holes of the city. Seek her then, and quaff deeply, of the healing draught which she doth offer thee. Breathe long and deeply, that the angel of air may be brought within you. For the rhythm of thy breath is the key of knowledge, which doth reveal the holy law. The angel of air doth soar on invisible wings, yet thou must walk her unseen path, if thou would see the face of God. Sweeter than the finest nectar of honeyed pomegranate is the fragrance of the wind in the grove of Cyprus. Sweeter still the scent of the godly, who do revere and teach the holy law. Holy is the angel of air, who doth cleanse all that is unclean, and giveth to all evil-smelling things a sweet odour. Come on, come on, O clouds! from above down onto the earth by thousands of drops. Through their brightness and glory the winds blow, driving down the clouds toward the never-failing springs. Vapors rise up from the vales of the mountains, nursed by the wind along the trail of the law, which increaseth the kingdom of light. The Heavenly Father hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heavens by his will. When he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and he causeth the vapours to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his breath. As the sea is the gathering place of the waters, rising up and going down, up the aerial way and down onto the earth, and up again the aerial way, thus rise up and roll along, and for whose rising and growing the Heavenly Father hath made the eternal and sovereign luminous space. No man may come before the face of God, whom the angel of air letteth not pass. Thy body must breathe the air of the earthly mother, as thy spirit must breathe the holy law of the Heavenly Father.
Thank you for joining us for Between Master and Disciples. Up next is Planet Earth, our loving home, right after noteworthy news, here on Supreme Master Television. May Providence guide your life in wisdom and love. <laughs>